magnetic field pattern. The magnetic field due to a current in a straight wire, can be investigated using apparatus as follows. The iron filings sprinkled on the card will set in concentric circles, when the card is tapped lightly. A small plotting compass placed on the card, indicates the direction of the magnetic field. If the current is reversed by changing the battery connections, the compass needle will swing round and point in the opposite direction. The magnetic field will remain unaltered. There are two methods to determine the direction of the magnetic field. Right Hand Grip Rule, and Maxwell Screw Rule. According to the Right Hand Grip Rule, the direction of the fingers, gives the direction of the magnetic field. When the thumb is pointing along the wire in the direction of current. According to the Maxwell Screw Rule, the direction of rotation of the screw, gives the direction of the magnetic field if the screw move upward, in the direction of the current in the wire. The figure shows, the magnetic field pattern due to a current in a circular coil. At the center of the coil, the field pattern is straight and at right angles to the plane of the coil. The direction of the magnetic field at any point, can be determined using the right hand grip rule. According to the right hand grip rule, the direction of the fingers gives the direction of the magnetic field, when the thumb is pointing along the wire in the direction of current. A solenoid is a long cylindrical coil. A magnetic field is produced, when a current flows through a solenoid. The figure shows, the magnetic field pattern produced by a solenoid. The field lines inside a solenoid are straight and evenly spaced, indicating that the field is of uniform strength. Outside the solenoid, the pattern is similar to that of bar magnet, with one end of the solenoid acting like a N pole, and the other end like a S pole. Methods to determine the poles of a solenoid. According to the right hand grip rule, the thumb points to the end pole, if the fingers of the right hand grip the solenoid in the direction of the current. The polarity of the solenoid, can also be worked out by viewing the direction of the current at the end of the coil. The end in view will be the end pole, if the current is flowing in an anti-clockwise direction. It will be the S pole, if the current is flowing in a clockwise direction. Thank you for taking time to watch this.